What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are going to be sealing a vertical wall. Sealing surfaces is not new. What I'm gonna be showing you guys today, this can obviously seal flat surfaces, but I think a, a much more impressive feat is can we seal vertical walls? Now you would say, well why would I wanna seal a vertical surface? It depends on what you're wanting to try to accomplish. You know, I'm gonna be sealing a block wall, cinder block wall today. Uh, what this will allow is no water to penetrate and it will inhibit any algae growth uh, for probably three to five years into the future so if a customer wants to add this on to a job you're going to be able to do it um, so let's get over here and i'll show you the wall that we're going to be sealing today it is a bare wall it's probably been standing since the 50s let's go check it out if you're thinking about starting a pressure washing business but you want to learn more about the equipment mixing chemicals how to clean every surface on a residential job site property protection and much much more check out the how to wash course it'll be the first link in the comment section and the description so this wall right here is very old pretty old very porous and um as you guys see this little crack got some foam right here but we're gonna be sealing this. I think this would be a great example. Check out the chemical. Uh, um, monster rehab. No, I'm kidding. All right, so it's gonna be super seal. This is a very easy to use chemical from Southeast Soft Wash and one step application, no blending, no catalyst, nothing like that. Drives flat and clear. So you're not even gonna be able to see from the outside that it's sealed. There's no sheen, there's no nothing, but when water gets sprayed upon it, it will beat up and not penetrate. I love, love, love Siloxane, this type of sealant. Um, Super Seal is amazing because it's so easy to use it, and it's very, very, very forgiving. So with some sealants, with like catalyst based sealants where you have to mix them, if your sprayer starts getting kind of wonky and you start feeling certain areas and it starts kind of spraying uh, sporadically when it dries you will be able to see those imperfections and that is not good because that creates a callback and a trip back to the location so super seal will not because you won't even be able to tell that it's sealed until water gets on it then it beads up and will not penetrate let's get started sealing this wall so when you're sealing i always like to use a disposable sprayer i have used sprayers in the past that um where you know they have pumps on them they're pretty cool there there's a couple companies out there that make sprayers that go on top of a five gallon bucket and the only issue with those is with sealant depending on what kind of sealant you run through it you really got to clean it out otherwise that pump inside is going to be kaput and then you're going to have to replace the pump it creates a lot of problems and if you don't soak all the fittings you get to the next job site personal experience it will start spraying all wonky dude and now you've got a whole day devoted you got a you know 10,000 square foot worth of this concrete or whatever you're sealing and your sprayer is messing up dude that is crap so with small stuff I always like to use a disposable sprayer we just throw it away at the end buy a new one next time guys so I'm gonna just seal this portion so I can spray that tomorrow I'll show you guys when it dries how that seeps in and that's gonna beat up it's clip to tomorrow right now where I'm spraying some water on this rascal Super Seal works, man. Another stellar product from Southeast Soft Wash. Go grab you some. 